Hey Yoda, Tinakutu, hello and welcome back to Minecraft. Right behind me there is the house that we've been working on for the last few episodes. We're going to take a short break today, we're actually going to go and get some glass. Uh, if you were very keen there, you can see that I've actually just gone ahead for that middle design that I said that I was probably going to go for. And before I do anything else, I would like to just thank everyone that has given their feedback and continues to give their feedback on that video. It's very much appreciated that people do at least watch the video and do kind of, I suppose, care enough to comment that that's, that puts my mind at ease somewhat that people do actually kind of appreciate what's going on here. And even saw one comment that was very nice. Somebody, had, this uh, series has actually re-inspired them to start playing Minecraft again and that is absolutely fantastic news. I've, all, I've said this a couple of times already but if you, if you do... If you still like Minecraft videos and you're watching this and you don't really want to play Minecraft might right now, my advice to you would just to be play anyway. Just start up a new world, you know, and grab some dirt and just kind of make a little house around you, right? Just a little little house. Like it could be like a one by one by two house. And block yourself in. And the first thing you're gonna think is, well, this is this isn't large enough, is it? So you're gonna make it bigger. And then you're probably going to increase the roof height to three, maybe even to four. And then who wants a dirt house, right? So you're going to change it out to wood. You see what happens? You, you just start to play again. You start realizing, you, you know, you're re-inspired just by playing again. And that's probably what I've done maybe once. Well, no, I don't think I've done it, actually. I tried lying there, but I'm not going to lie. I, I haven't actually had to do that. I've stayed pretty true to the... Minecraft game as it is. I don't really think I've gotten bored of single player. What the? What the? It's another one of these perfect spherical cave room things, okay? <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever gotten bored of single player, but that doesn't mean that perhaps one of the ideas that I thought of the Wednesday slot that has opened up since we finished off the Terraria series was actually uh, Thorncraft 4. I used to do a Thorncraft 2 let's play and a lot of the the really old viewers or the viewers that have been here a long time will have been there for that. I don't have a fence do I? I'll actually, no I don't even have leashes so I can't fence this guy up even if I wanted to. Alright well here's the plan. Oh, We're going to get our saddle and hopefully we'll be able to find this guy again. We're just gonna quickly get some sand here. Okay, that's the last of the shovels that I made. I only just made a couple. This is starting to wander and it's starting to go night time. So it looks like it's about time to head back. How much did we get? Five and a half stacks. That's pretty good for three shovels, I'd say. Three stone shovels. On you go. And just before we get going... <laughs> Top up the fuel tank. It's time to go. So we're going to be using this sand to make basically a glass roofing. Uh, I wanted to play with the idea of making the, the, the those those white wall things, the white stained clay. I wanted to try replacing that with glass, but the glass isn't going to connect with the fences, and I think having the fences connect to the clay like that actually kind of it's what I want in the design, basically, so we're going to unfortunately have to avoid the stained clay, but we can incorporate it in other ways, such as putting it in the roof. So that's what we're going to try and tackle today. Here we go, going from 1.7 to 1 point. I can't remember what update this generation was made in. The world was started in the update before Nether Quartz there, because that, that's all that I remember. I think that was 1.4, maybe? 1.4, maybe? I can't remember. For those of you that are interested in that, you can... Curiosity will serve you well, and you can look on Google and stuff, but uh, I, I can't remember. I could look on episode 1 on YouTube, probably, and it would... I might have F3 up at some point. Who knows? Alright. Are there any bad guys? I don't think so. Now you can see here I have a compass on me. Because I was actually doing a bit of exploring here off camera. I went way off that way. 
Like several thousand blocks, about 3,000 I think. I didn't reach the end of the continent going that way, but I think I did reach it going that way and that way, so... Turns out that that desert that we were just at, that goes for quite a long way. And then after that, there is a bit of... What is it called? Savannah? Savannah? Yeah, here we go, here we are. Home again. And then after that, there's some extreme hills, and I was just like, well, I don't really want to go much further. I was looking for a mesa biome, basically. And there's probably not going to be one on the starting continent. Probably. Probably. I have no idea. Now, I ran out of shovels, so I don't have one. I'll have to quickly make one. Do I have any spare sticks? I think I do have tons of sticks up there. Let's see if we've got a couple lying around here. No, we do not. Well, in that case, let's not, let's not be too dangerous about it. Let's get to bed before these guys wreck our day. Ah! Get back. Ow! Get inside, get inside, get inside. Okay. Did this skeleton just hit the spider? I think it did. Ow. This always happens. Okay. You, you need some kind of block that the mobs can't see through, but you can shoot through. Hey, skelly. Burn! Yeah. Right. Where's the other guy? Oh, there he is. Hello! That's a very nice bed you have there. <laughs> that was basically what he was saying. It right, looks like we can sleep, and let's do just that. Lovely. Let's get down here. It's a new day. The only way to play Minecraft. Something. <laughs> Burn, you testificate villagers! And turn zombies. Oh, I found a village out there as well. I've got the coordinates down here, but I didn't actually check if there were any villagers in it. I just sort of went by past it really fast because it was actually night time, so... Didn't want to stop off and have the... First of all, just to have them run away, but also because of the impending threat of monsters. I'm sure you understand our problems with monsters. So I've got a bunch of sand here. Looks like I'm going to have to turn a significant chunk of that into clay. I mean, glass. And yeah, I've got tons of sticks here so I can make a new shovel. Oh wow, that was quite a good knockback. Is this got knockback? Yeah, it does. Knockback 2. Wow, yeah. I love knockback 2. I love knockback 2 except when I want the monsters to stay right next to me. That's the only real thing about it. It's like, if you knock them back... Then they're out of range and you can't hit them. That's the trade-off, basically. Oh, free iron. I'll take that. Just want to try and do them in multiples of eight. To be as efficient with our coal as possible. I didn't even realize this, but my sister was talking to me the other day and she says, Your favorite word is efficiency, isn't it? And I didn't even, I don't even know my favorite word, but... When I thought of it, I did realize that, yes, my favorite word, as it turns out, is efficiency, I guess, because I like efficiency, and I like things that are efficient. I'm not very efficient, but I like efficient things, like you guys. Okay. Hey. Yeah? It's a bird guy again. Ugh. What is he coming down here for again? Probably the skeleton spawner. Yeah? I don't know, he probably just needs to grab some bone meal. Dude, how do you even know? Dude. I know. Dude, your accent's kind of changing to a surfer, but you're still kind of sounding a bit dark. I mean, low. Yeah, whatever. Dude. There he goes. He's going away. Hey, look, there's Merv. How you doing, Merv? Well, I got laid. An egg. <laughs> Brr, it's a boy guy. He's got weight. He's making weight, boys. You're ready for feeding. You're ready for feeding. Oh. This ain't no bird bath. Okay, that's probably more than enough wheat for us right now. Yeah, that's a better stack. Okay. There's hardly any guys in here. 
There's hardly anyone in here. I can't call the herd because there's not enough. I must have done a major killing at some point to get rid of them all. Well, there's not enough to, to kill now, so... Yeah. Can I get any more? Did I miss one guy in the back? Yeah, that looks like that's all of them. Oh, that kind of sucks. Come to me. Over here. Must be orbs. Yeah. Is in this chest. Oh. I'll take that. There we go. I thought we'd actually have more cows, but apparently I must have done a massive slaughtering at some point, and I'm going to have to repopulate the herd there if I want to kill a decent amount of them anyway. Just wanted to do that while we had the glass cooking. we got plenty of this now, and if we need more, we can just head back. But honestly, that's probably going to be an off-camera event, because, let's face it, running all the way out there and all the way back just to get some glass isn't exactly fun things to watch, if you ask me. I'll do the boring things so you don't have to. Alright. So we should have enough... Act we, yeah, that's that's a lot. It only takes eight bone meal to, to convert an entire stack of glass into stained glass, so that's going to be plenty of bone meal for us right now. It looks like we're getting pretty close to night time, so let's just go ahead and get rid of that. So a new day is dawning. We've got our glass. Now it should only take eight bone meal to convert an entire stack of clear glass like this into stained glass, and for those who don't know, it's actually just you take your dye material. We could have, we'll do it with the blue just to demonstrate as well, because lapis lazuli makes blue stained clay. You can use bone meal to make white stained clay. Pretty cool. And that will convert an entire stack for us. Well, we're only going to do one stack for now. But yeah, let's see what we get. So the only real things that have changed here is that I've switched all of these out with my preferred building style and I think I think this looks pretty cool it's the look that I think I kind of want for it the other ones look okay but I kind of explained before you know there's too much white or you know too much resources that kind of stuff yeah I don't know Pe people have different likes and stuff and that's totally cool we should actually be able to do something like this now we've got a silk touch pick, so we can actually just go ahead and plonk this all down, see how it looks, and go grab the silky. If we don't like it. I turned the Minecraft music back on recently. Today. Oh. Poor guy. We'll have to get that guy later. But yeah, I think I'm just going to keep it on. It's nice and peaceful. I've forgotten how peaceful it is. The music was actually added to recently, C418, C418, however he wants to be called. Released Minecraft Beta, the Minecraft Beta album, and that is now in the game. They were kind of released at the same time, I think. Or he probably made it for Minecraft, I don't know. Well, I didn't want to avoid, I didn't want to chop this tree down, but the time has come for it to go. That's a funny thing about these tall trees, you just have to, the irony is they're so tall you have to use the wood you just drop down to get up higher into them. Look at all these branches. Oh man. So that's three branches, maybe even four. Down you go! Give me all of the wood. Is there anything over here? Oh yes. Look at that. Oh wow. Oh my goodness, there's another branch here, that's like four branches. Five? Maybe six? This, is this number six? I think this is number six. Six branches. Now, I want to try and keep as many of these tall trees as possible. They're the only trees that I didn't chop down when I was doing the mass tree chopping craziness. That has left the majority of this mountain bare. 
I do need wood though, so I want to try and get as much of this as I can. Is this branch number seven? Yeah, it is. That's seven branches. That's the most I've ever counted. Mostly because it's the first I've ever counted. <laughs> yep. Alright, we're going to have saplings raining on us all day now. Okay, yeah, that is another tree, so... Probably about there is where we want to cut off. Sometimes I've had it where even though there's no... There's no logs to hold the leaves together, sometimes there'll be enough leaves... That, where they kind of sustain each other. So they won't despawn or decay. So, you know, I tend to just kind of dig out enough of them that you kind of cause a critical failure of any such plant ball. Plant balls. Alright. This is looking pretty good so far. I want to put those mid, yeah, those stone bands on there, of course. But yeah, now that we've got that tree out of the way, hopefully those leaves will leave us in peace. Let's get up here. Yep. Now there's no more Minecraft music. I was in creative mode a lot with the music on and I heard it definitely a couple of new tracks. I just wonder if they're gonna show up today. I'm not too sure. Yeah, we're gonna want more of this stuff. Do I want to go down and get it or yeah let's go down and craft it. No sense making a new workbench. I've got like 50 bajillion workbenches all over the world now. It's probably a, one or two too many. <laughs> get those in there. Yikes. Maybe we even want to do some kind of cool design. Have some brown stain clay in there for the wood. Just kind of do some very basic designs. It might be overcomplicating the effect that I'm going for. But we'll get the rest of this glass and, and have a look. I don't even have the walls formulated, do I? Not really. Well, I do kind of. Ooh, brainwave. What if I... Yeah, I think I'm going to do this, actually. A great way to make a build more more interesting to look at without really doing too much to the blocks themselves is to actually incorporate leaves, leaf blocks, and vines and things. But leaf blocks are pretty easy to manage because they don't grow like vines do. Grow down. You can use string to stop the vines, but we don't really have vines anyway because I don't think I've found a jungle yet. Anyway. Let's get inside. It's a bit too clear right now, but we're going to be putting these these bands over anyway, so I think I've got, yep, my stone bricks are in here. I think continuing this stone brick across here is going to look pretty good. I don't know how the... don't know how the glass is going to look on the underside of the stone brick. I guess you could say it's undecided. Yeah, yeah. See what I did there? Anyone? <laughs> uh, I'm having a lot of fun today, guys. Just doing a big recording session like this, I think. I think we can just splice together all the bits that we can. This is better, for sure. This is definitely better. Huh. Maybe I can put white clay in there. I've only got these three blocks to test that out with. I was kind of demoing something here. I'm, I'm not totally sold on it, but it's the best thing that I've come across so far. But you will have to see. It looks like I need my silk touch pick for that. Okay. So I've got silky here. I haven't named it silky yet. It's still called diamond pickaxe. One thing that I said I was going to do is actually name my tools and armor and stuff after cards or scrolls from scrolls. The game by Mojang, the other game by Mojang. I don't know, I like playing scrolls and I think it'll be a good mix of 
Yeah, it's, it's just something cool to do, right? <laughs> you know, I need something to name them after. Um... No. No. Um, I, I do... I, I like that the block comes down like that. I just think that's the wrong colour. Maybe bark. Log. That, 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 we can try that. That'll look okay. Let's try... Oh, so I gotta go like that, don't I? Yeah. It's... It's bitter? It's bitter. It's probably a little bit dark. I want the inside to be nice and light, but that was a pretty light material and I didn't quite like it, did I? Hmm... Hmm. Glowstone? That's an awful lot of glowstone to waste. Yo! Oh. Hello. Here. Yeah. What do we got that we can try right now? Plain old stone brick. Hello, frame rate. You have returned to normal now. That was weird. Stone brick is not very good. I don't like that. I'm gonna find something that works. Dirt, even? <laughs> right. Not dirt, obviously. Hmm. Maybe if we put the white here, that'll look better. I'm gonna butcher one of these for a sec, just to get some clay. We'll see what that looks like. There we go. Mm-hmm. No, because I want those to not connect on that side, so that's not gonna work. This has to be free. Like that. Maybe it's not going to be as bad as I think, because you've got those going down like that, then these coming across like this, down like that, across like that. It would kind of look... it would probably look modern, actually. Maybe I could throw fences in there. Let's try fences, because i got a bunch of those that aren't doing anything. Yep. We're getting close to a solution here. Give me that. I will throw this back in. Actually, that's not bad. Maybe if you have the white and then fences on top of there. You can kind of use them as some kind of modern chandelier system. There's a thought. Then you can put the glowstone on there. And that could be our way of lighting this place. That's not, that's not too bad. Let's throw the clay back in. Yeah, no, now that I think about it more, I actually am kind of... Finding the clay pretty good. I just need more of it. That's what I need. So I need to dredge my oceans. I was trying to find a mesa biome, but yeah, it didn't really it didn't pan out too well. Came home empty-handed. Hmm. Will that have to be white clay? <sighs> yes. Yes. We can try a number of different blocks for this bit as well. Hmm. No, because that makes the white look a little bit wrong. It makes the wood look alright, but I want the white to look more better than that, if that makes any sense. Let's get that in there. Yeah, that looks good. What about stone brick steer under here? Then you can't even see it, so it doesn't matter. That looks good, though. So we're actually going to get that 
white block out of there and we don't even don't even need a block there as it turns out it can just be empty air that's interesting cool give me this right that looks pretty good I approve of that or do I <laughs> Uh no, nah, I think this is good. This is gonna look good. I just need more of it. It just looks a little bit out of place like that. Is is, you know, because there's just isn't very much of it. But I think that looks pretty good. Let's get back up on the top and finish off the rest of the stone, the stone bands. I'm very tempted to call them iron bands. Maybe we could pretend that they're iron for for roleplay sake. What am I going to do with this? I don't really want it to go all the way along like that because you'll be able to see it. Hmm. Perhaps we can just like bolt it in there or something. <laughs> I'm quite liking this. I've got to say. Yeah, I think this is going to be cool. We've got to have some lighting up here as well. We're not going to be able to see it from below, so we could actually use glowstone. We're not going to be seeing it from up top here very much, I don't think. Well, maybe if we're up there and we look down. Well, for now, we'll just put torches and see how that goes. Just to keep the mobs off of here, mainly just so that they're not wandering around on my roof. That's the reason I want to put those there. Yeah. All right. I really do like this now. I really think once you get some more white in there, that's going to look pretty good. I remember I wanted to have a lot of light colors on the interior. You know, sort of have the, yeah, these sorts of colors, the gray and brown on the exterior. And then have the lighter colors on the interior because that's how these modern rustic homes tend to be made. From thanks to Google. For telling me that. <laughs> I don't have much glowstone, do I? I haven't been into the nether very much. I made that one episode, and then since then I've gone into the nether to get some nether wart, and that's about it. Perhaps in our future, our very near future, I could possibly predict some more nether adventures to the nether. We need to head to the nether anyway to get to another continent. Because we're no doubt going to want to have everything and have a lot of everything. So yeah, I can't remember the recipe for redstone blocks. Do we even have any lying around? It's possible. Alright, well. Let's just get five. I can't. Man, look at this inventory. This reminds me of earlier episodes. Get those in there. Oh, I can do that, okay. And that gives us those. Do I have any spare levers? Ah, oh, come on, I've got to have spare levers. Alright, the plan was to put the lamps on these iron bands as we are role-playing them on when we're this stone. We're role-playing. <laughs> kind of role-playing. Well, role-playing enough. This was the middle, right? Uh, yes, that's the middle. I just like the look of redstone lamps more than levers, what can I say? That's gonna look cool. That was right here. Yep. Well, it's only stone. Oh, man. That, inven that inventory, guys. That inventory. Yes, that looks great. I'm gonna look from further back, though. Could I sneak one in the middle there? I think it'll be possible. And then we gotta do one on that pillar, so I do need a another lever. I should have some cobble up there. 
Would you believe I am starting to run out of cobble in this world of all things? I'm using a lot of it here. It's kind of odd to to have to point out that your your cobble reserves are running low. Let's pick the left one because we're left-handed. I approve of that logic. It actually looks a little bit weird. The corner one looks a little bit weird to me, sticking like that. Huh. Is it weird enough? I'll leave it there for a little while. I'm sort of on the fence about how weird that corner one looks. But what we've got there looks pretty nice. I guess what we need to do now is find some more stained clay. Well, find some more hardened clay, find some more clay in the sea. But that is going to be next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode and our progress. In the next, the next one, we'll have some more clay. It's probably about time we started working on the rest of this place. Getting a nice floor in, probably just some wood. Kind of work out exactly where things are going to go, and yeah. This place is starting to really uh, kick off, I think. Thanks for watching, guys, and Kia Kaha! Which is really good. And I think I even did it to this bit here as well, yes, so now we've got a, a bunch of extra space in our, um, what is this chest? Just the loot chest, I suppose. Almost got an entire stack of lapis blocks, not sure what I'm going to do with those. Now that I've got a more rows, I can actually go nuggets and then put the ores there, so that's good. Alright, that is looking pretty cool, I'll be able to get the nether quartz in there as well. Uh, I think I did that to the tall one as well, yep.